Arby's, I'm gonna take your order. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. going on Rockstars? As you can see with all these tires in front of me, we're talking tires. Thought it'd be a good idea to talk some tires since we just got those beautiful Titans in not too long ago. And I was thinking about some great options to play. So we'll start off here. We'll get right into it. We won't mess around, no BS. We're like Arby's, we got the meats. So this is the Yokohama Advan AO52. The 255-4017. All the tires we talk about today are going to be 255-4017, which is the typical square setup you're going to see for the Honda S2000. So for the AO52, it's typically a track tire. Time attack tire. Not too many people run these on the street. They're a 200 treadwear tire. They have tons of grip, but they don't have too much life for street driving. So it's not highly recommended. They do wear pretty quickly. They are a softer compound, but they offer tons and tons of grip for you fast boys. Anybody running time attack, uh, things like that, things of that nature, grid life, any type of, of road racing or road course racing, this is the tire you're gonna want. Next tire we're going to talk about today is the Falcon Azenus RT660. So as you can see, I do have the RE71R right next to it. Why do I have that? A lot of people see the RT660 as the successor to the RE71R. Right off the bat, you can see similarities in the design, the tread pattern, how the shoulders bolster, very, very similar tires. They perform very, very similarly as well. It's also a 200 treadwear track oriented tire, but it does have some positive street driving characteristics. You feel that the tire gives you confidence instantly. You don't need to really wait for these to warm up and they offer a lot more consistency than these RE71Rs. More testing to come. Don't really have too much concrete data as they are a fairly recently released tire. Um, a lot of people have been running them and a lot of people have been giving us great feedback but we're really excited to do some testing on our own, so stay tuned for that. My personal favorite tire is the RT660. I have them personally on my AP1. I paired them with some Titan TR10s, uh, 17 by 9.5, 51 offset spec. Perfect offset spec for the S2000 on a stock body that offers a lot of BBK clearance as we talked about in previous videos. But again, the RT660 offers a ton of grip. It's one of my personal favorites, I and mean, I'm really excited to see more with this tire. All right, Rockstars, we're gonna move right along to another Falcon tire. It's the Azenus RT615K Plus. Also in a 255-4017 size. It is a 200 treadwear tire. Cool fact, it was the Spec Corvette tire a few seasons ago, so that's pretty awesome. If you're looking for a 200 treadwear tire, a little bit more aggressive driving characteristics for everyday street, this is gonna be the one you wanna look at. The Azenus 615K Plus is super tanky, it's super stout. And compared to a lot of other 200 treadwear tires, it offers a lot longer life without compromising the grip. So if you're looking for something that checks all those boxes, look at this tire, the Xena 615K Plus. All right, Rockstars, we're gonna move on to the Hankook Ventus RS4. Also in a 255-4017 tire, I know it's not a super popular tire that a lot of S2K guys run these days, but I still wanted to give it as an option to offer some perspective. It's a great street everyday tire. It offers a lot of consistency and a tons more wet grip than the predecessor RS3. The RS3, in my opinion, offers a lot more high-end grip, but that sacrificed everyday driving and wet grip, of course. This tire definitely fixes that. It does have a softer of a sidewall than the other tires that we talked about today, but that's gonna give you some more positive street driving characteristics and help the tire be more consistent and also last a little bit longer. So if you guys are looking for an option that fits all of those boxes, the Hankook RS4 is an option for an everyday street tire. All 
All right, rock stars, thanks for sticking with us. I wanted to dedicate the last part of this video to the budget conscientious buyer. We do have two tires on the lower end of the price spectrum. We have the Federal 595 RSRR, made in Taiwan, but they are made for America with Patriot Pride, so that's something that you're gonna really wanna note. These Firestone Firehawk Indy 500s and the 255-4017, they're made in Indonesia, but they come right out of the box with these Indonesian racing stripes for maximum technical and mechanical grip. So not just mechanical grip, but we have technical grip as well. You didn't think that these tires had it, but Firehawks have. In all seriousness, Rockstars, if you're looking for something a little bit more budget oriented, the Firehawk Indy 500s are gonna be an awesome tire. They might look familiar to you if you look up the Bridgestone RE003 tire. They are almost the exact same tire. So something that you're going to want to note if you are thinking about keeping that cost low. The Federal RSR double or RS double R I should say was priced fairly well in relation to the Indy 500, but with the market changing, these are going to be a lot more expensive. And in that price range, you might want to consider the RT, the 615K Plus from Falcon. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this video informative and also fun. As always, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, ring that notification bell, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care, Rockstars.